I mean, it's super straight. Right, we're on, it's a cold one this morning. Now I put a putter grip on my 7-iron, why would I do that? See how cold it is? Covered in snow. So yes, I put a putter grip on my 7-iron. And there it's there. Right there. Boom. The question is why? Before we start this video, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel, click the thumbs up button, the bell notification, and go and grab your putter so you can feel this. So a standard golf grip on your irons is round. It may have a taper down the back, which is perfectly fine, but the rules of golf for, for a club that's not a putter, when you take a cross section of that grip, it must be round. So therefore, there's obviously no flat edges. The spine's allowed. Multi-compound align grip, that spine there, that's perfectly acceptable. But a flat surface is not allowed on your golf club. Now that, that is fine, it's crazy. I don't understand why though, because I could take my putter and I could hit my putter 100 yards if I wanted to, so that I mean, is that breaking the rules? Well, it's not because you can use any club anywhere you like. I've discussed quite heavily in the past that the pressure point number three on the golf club is where the index finger meets the aft of the shaft. So on the back of the shaft, right index finger, that knuckle right there is where it meets the golf club and that is pressure point number three. Now that, that extension of the right arm, so the straightening of the right arm through impact applies pressure onto the back of the club. And you've seen me in videos hitting shots with the index finger and the thumb off, which is applying pressure in here through impact. But I wanted to feel that pressure point more. So I tried a few different approaches. The best thing I came up with was the coin, placing the coin on the knuckle, taking my grip, and you can probably see the coin is under the pressure point there. Can you see that coin just in there? Yep. So I hit balls like so, which was fine. And I could feel the pressure being applied onto the aft of the shaft. It only works though, if you turn the body, if you rotate the body at the same time. Applying pressure without any body rotation or any pivot is pointless because it's just a force down. But I found it hard to keep the coin on the aft of the shaft. The coin could rotate around the shaft so therefore I could manipulate, so it wasn't ideal. So then through trial and error using my putter I was able to turn the grip round with the putter and I could feel automatically the flat surface where pressure point number three applies that pressure. So the front surface of your putter grip rotated round onto the aft of the shaft, pressure point number three goes on there. And I can feel that straight away. A flat surface, that's on the back of the golf club in every shot. Which is probably why it's illegal to do. <laughs> so I took my address position, here we go. I'm feeling where that club is resting on the pressure point. I can feel from there how the right hand activates that pressure point there. I can apply pressure to a flat section of the shaft there through impact. And as I say, that's only going to work if the body turns there, like so, to get the most out of pressure point number three. So pivoting the body, turning the body and feeling that and Unbelievably straight strike. Straight ball flight. So it's there. Good. There. Turn through and feel that action there. Feel how the right hand, the right arm straightens. So the ulnar and radius of the right arm is forced forward. And it's so easy to keep the club face stable and square because I've got that flat surface. Now it is illegal. Completely illegal. We know that's illegal. But as a training aid... I mean, why not? Why not take your putter grip, a putter grip, and put it on the back of your club, or any club. I'm using an old G400 here, it's a little bit funky sounding to be honest. And use that as your teaching aid. Train yourself from there, so up just halfway back, turn body. If you've got a good grip on the golf club, so a nice neutral grip, that pressure point there is going to hold the face squarer for longer. Because there's less rotation, you're on the aft of that flat surface, you're pushing a flat surface in that direction. Not a rounded surface that's hard to control where you're rotating around it, it's a flat surface. I'm pushing a flat surface towards a target. Now the flat surface and the leading edge of the golf club, of course they line up with each other, aft, forward. I can push the club face straighter towards target for a fraction. That fraction is so important, you must understand that we're not holding this square to target forever. I'm not holding this square to target from point of impact, separation and continuing on all day long. People need to get out of the habit of that. It's for a fraction, it's for an inch through impact or so. But you're able to hold it just that little bit longer. So there, there. Little drill, feeling the body rotate, 
feel how the right arm straightens and feel how you apply pressure onto the flat surface of that grip. So I'm there, just little shots to begin with. Awesome. I told you the club sounded funky. <laughs> so the reason I've not put the grip on my own, just fix that Eureka cane there. The reason I've not put the grip on my own seven irons purely because it is illegal. And I don't want to have to chop and change. So I've got, I'm fortunate enough, I have old clubs lying around that I can put the grip on. So I appreciate not everyone can. It's just, it's absolutely straight. Pushing the straight sh surface as the body rotates. So up there, hips open to the feet line, Eureka style. Let the pressure point do its thing. Good. Good. Got this. So you're able to square the, I mean imagine hitting the golf shop with a square face every time. All you would have to worry about would be the path of the golf club. Square face every time. That's why it's illegal. That's why it's illegal. That's why it could be a training aid. Yet, that's what we need to do to ingrain the motion. So if you, I mean, even just taking 50 swings in your back garden from there to there, from here to here's golf, up there is fine. <laughs> from there to there, feeling how the aft of the club. The Homer Kelly and his golfing machine book talks about another pressure point, which is the three fingers on the left hand. These three fingers of the left hand. Now, of course, what's happened now is they are also on a flat surface. So it's almost like a moulded grip for pressure points. So, I mean, this just gets better and better. One, two, three, there's one pressure point. And there's another pressure point, pressure point number three. There we go, this is pressure point number two. There. There's, I can feel the pressure on the last three fingers of my left hand, which helps with a bowing or a supination of the left hand or flat left wrist. The, extension of the right arm using press point number three again and aft again it's encouraging this to happen so we're more there at impact because we've got the flat shaft if i take the dst compressor there's impact there one two three and the pressure on the after the shaft there's where we are that's impact now i've got the feeling of that golf club with the flatness of the back of this grip there we go. Then of course from there you just take it, you play short ones, you increase the motion as you go, so just there. Magic. Increase your range of motion. Cool. And again, just getting a little bit longer and longer as we go. Feeling the pressure points as the body pivots. Good. What a strange sound these clubs make. Good, gradually getting up to full swing. Even though it's full swing, I'm still able to feel how that all works. How all pressure points are working together. That ball was dud. Do another one on full swing. Take grip, ensure pressure points in place. Good. Up to my swing, feet open, hips open to feet line. As per eurekagolfswing.com, have a look at that. Pressure points. I mean, it's super straight. I love that. So that, ladies and gents, is why I put a putter grip on my 7-iron. <laughs> Remember, subscribe, bell notification, and thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video.